Let me start with you, Harry. That must have felt really good to have a, have a night like that. You must have enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is probably the most fun I've had playing basketball. And, um, I mean, I'm still figuring it out along the way. I'm uh, just taking it day by day and enjoying my basketball. And I think that speaks for itself, you know, um, whether I'm doing well or doing poorly, gorges on me about um, my stuff on the court, my stuff off the court. And I think that's really helping me and um, helping me evolve as a player and a person. And, um, yeah, I think obviously it translates to the court and I'm going to stick with it through the highs and lows. You've put the work in. Is it nice to now be starting to see the reward of that? Not only with your shooting, but everything that you're doing on the court seems to be just about at, a, at the highest level it's ever been. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, I just cleaned up some stuff that I had to, and um, as I said, credit to Gorge helping me out with all that and um, believing in me. And um, I'm just trying to do the little things and, and um, yeah, just be a good teammate and be a good a good guy and um, whatever happens, happens. So, um, as I said, I'm not going to ride the highs or ride the lows too much and just try to get consistent with my stuff, which I'm still working on, but, um, yeah, I'll stick with it. George, Harry's talked a lot about how the fact that you riding so hard but also having his back has been a big factor in why he's able to play like he is right now. Um, can you just talk through why you have such faith in, in bringing Harry in? Um, the family. I coach the father. Um, I know his mother real well. We go back a long, long, long way. And I know that last name. And I know, uh, you know, the fruit doesn't fall far from the tree. And I knew uh, um, Harry was in a position that um, I thought he would be, you know, this is a two-way street. I thought he'd be tremendous for us and cover a lot of the things that this team lacked last year. And also, I thought that this environment um, the group that we have um, would be great for him. And then um, the production here um, has, it, it's all about him. Um, he came here with a, with a bite to him that he was going to do what was required um, for him to be the best he can be. And he's going down a path, and he, what he just said to you is exactly where it's at. There's going to be some highs and lows, but you take one look at him, and he's on, a, he's on the right page. And I'm, uh, I love having him here, um, and I am hard on him, um, and uh, he's responded. And uh, what he's doing, how he looks, how he's approaching everything, it, it's, all, it's full credit to him. And uh, tonight, again, doo-wop goes down. Um, you don't have him here tonight. We don't win. We don't win tonight. We're in deep, deep, deep trouble. So uh, again, uh, I, I got a big smile on my face about that one. I'm, I'm really pleased for him because he has been doing a lot of work. And it helps the process if you get rewarded now and then. And uh, you know, th he's put in a couple good ones, but tonight was great. And like you said, it wasn't the shot is the shot. He makes shots, and he's going to do it his whole. But it was all the other things, getting up and down the court, rotating on defense, talking, um, covering everybody's back. And he did a great job. They had us on the glass, and I thought he came in and did a great job on the boards. Hey, Sorry, just um, <laughs> I muted myself. Cool, uh, you've spoken over the last couple of games about the, the, the team's defense not being where it needs to be. You held them to 59 points in three quarters. Was what was most pleasing for you with the defensive end tonight? Oh, ev everything. Just the, the pickup of the ball. Um, we had great pressure on the ball. I thought our rotations on the post with Johnson and and Cam were great. Um, um, more activity. Um, we got hurt on the glass. They're a real challenge there. They're a good basketball team, but, but we did defend. And we had a bad patch at the end of the second quarter, um, like the Perth game, and we fell in a hole. And we couldn't find our way out of it against Perth. Just um, we didn't know where to go. We tried to shoot our way back into it, where tonight we did shoot the ball, but we, we played off our defense. And uh, we played off the controllables. And it was a focus after the Perth game, whatever happened, 
happens, let's cover that. And we did a great job tonight. And then the fourth quarter, um, again, it's a different shot for those guys. That you're moving guys on the no, – no disrespect there, but I thought um, when the game mattered until it, until it was over, our, our defense was um, a level above what it's been all year. And uh, if we're going to go where we need to go, I think they're starting to understand that. You know, within the group, not just coming from me, they're talking about it. And, uh, you know, um, a huge inroad tonight there, huge inroad tonight. What about the ball movement, Roger? I mean, 26 assists on 38 made field goals, I man. But the guys look like there was a real focus on kind of kicking it, kicking it, making the extra pass, finding the open man. Well, yeah, I mean, you've got it. Um, it, it when you say the controllables, you know, um, just what we talked about on the defense, when you're lazy, um, all those things wane. There's no pressure on the ball. The pickup's late. You're not talking. You're not active. On the offense, when you're lazy, it's easy to come down and jack up the ball on the first side. And uh, those were all focus points tonight, and I'm glad you could see it. You know, the game, it's entertainment, it's visual. And uh, I thought the ball moved tonight. It got from one side to the other. And again, these are all that we're talking about, um, stuff that they're learning as we're going along, and they're starting to understand what we need to do with win, to win. And the assists, the ball movement, are a key factor for us on the offensive end. No, it was um, we, we do have depth and we have depth in the bigs. You know, we've got, you know, I'm, I'm excited about AK Gack down the road. We've got AJ there. We've got Sam. We've got Harry. I mean, that's that's a good team in this because you've got the COVID situation. You've got injuries. You've got games coming fast and furious now and travel. So this is something the teams are going to deal with. And our depth in those bigs were, were really important tonight. And then you know, the, the Jessup situation um, from last year to this year, um, we have other, if they want to face guard him like that and not let him touch the ball, um, last year we were stuck. This year that opens up other guys. And then on the second aspect, we have an issue where he's putting an, a lot of energy that we don't have Justin Simon playing the guard in the backcourt. So the Bryce Cotton matchup tonight, McCarron, um, Delhi, those matchups are huge. And tonight I thought, you know, on the defensive end, which was huge for us tonight, he was really big. And it was one of the things we talked about. You can go 0 for 6, we can go 1 for 11 and still win if we play that side of the ball. And so uh, it's great to have a guy like that that doesn't score and still is, is huge, huge contribution. And just finally for me, Tyler Hardy's kind of been struggling a little bit shooting the ball, but what were your thoughts on his performance tonight? 8 of 13 and was really relaxed and sort of back to his old, uh, old tricks. I, I think he, he, he felt comfortable tonight because I think um, – the pressure wasn't on him tonight to have to score the ball. He, he, he knows from last year, and there was a good feel out there right from the start of the game, and I thought it took pressure off him. And then again, you know, you have Tim, you have Harry, you have those guys hitting shots. Now it loosens up, and it's hard to um, lock in on him. So, um, you know, again, um, this – um, uh, addition of these perimeter players, perimeter shooters, have loosened it up for him. And I know he felt like we had a winning formula tonight. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Coach. Um, Coach, just a quick one. Do you have any more information about the off injury? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a doctor, but I know he took an elbow to the hip, and uh, you know it, it, it was sore, too sore to come back into the game. Um, the from that, I know nothing, and uh, we'll know more tomorrow. But you know, we were we were hoping we might get some more minutes out of him, but uh, um, it was too sore, and it was an elbow to the hip.
Thank you. Hey, boys. Thank you. 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 Thank